Hello everyone, I saw that there was a lot of interest in my previous video about how to create quickly a terrain in Unreal Engine 5 with World Machine and that's why I want to show you a little bit more tricks how to create a specific terrain. For example, I see in the comments that some people ask how to create a 15 kilometers by 15 kilometers, a specific uh, type of size of terrain so I'm gonna show this right now and I'm gonna show you how to use uh, world partition in order to create optimization for your terrain and let's get started first you go to file and create new terrain all right the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna need to go to the advanced palette noise and we're gonna need to create a mask so I'm gonna click here on the layout view and as you can see, we have a tileable terrain over here. And here is a little square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a touch new layout as a mask input. All right. And then I'm going to click invert values. So I can see this square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my uh, terrain and I'm going to cre create an island. So you click on the polygon tool over here. You just simply hold your left mouse button and start creating a shape so here you can create custom shapes and let me create this island like that maybe over here and like that so I'm gonna release and I created my island over here and as you can see with this polygon tool or line or circle or box you can draw your terrain you can you can create your own shape you can have anything you want so if you double click on it you have few options you have default value for the height and opacity for the strength and fall off if you start scrolling down this you can see here that i'm decreasing the height of of the terrain that i've created but i'm going to tweak it a little bit later so what we need to do is we're going to need to click over here on the world extents and resolution and right now here is the magic we want to have 32 kilometers by 32 kilometers terrain and we have that if you want 56 no problem 56 and this is how big your terrain will be but let's create 32 this is the first step select the width and height in kilometers for your terrain the next thing let me show you you need to set up the resolution i'm going to click on custom and this is the suggested resolutions from uh, Unreal Engine documentation. You can see that the size uh, is, is uh, connected with the vertices count. And I'm going to use this one. 1009 by 1009. You can say you can have a total components of 256. So I'm just going to put 1009. All right you go to the tile build option and here I'm going to select let me just select my calculator I'm going to select 8 let's just select custom select 8 oops I just close it so I just select 8 so what it's going to happen right now we have 33 kilometers by 33 and I divided it by 8 tiles so what, what we'll do is 33 by 8, one of this tile will be 4 kilometers. So the whole terrain will be split by sections of 4 kilometers. And I, I want to set a tile resolution, again, like in the Unreal Engine documentation, 1009. So right now I set up my terrain to be 32 kilometers, set up this resolution. And I can have up to 256 components. All right. And now I've set up that I have tiles 8 by 8. So each tile will be 4 kilometers. And I said set up the resolution 1009. When I click OK, you can see that my white square is now. 33 by 33 and what I need to do is I need to center my uh, island in the middle of it let's say 
something like this all right and the next thing that i want to show you is you need to click on use breakup and it will break up the shores of the iron i want just like that it will break up the geometry moving forward click on guided levels so we can set up the sea level something like this maybe a little bit like that uh, 180 all right and as you can see we have shores over here if i go to the 3d view i can see my island over here and the water over here all right this is pretty good setup and the next thing i'm gonna go back to device view and i'm gonna create i'm gonna go to nature and i'm gonna click on coast erosion I want to create a little bit of erosion around the coast of this island. I'm going to connect here to my primary input and my primary output. I'm going to connect here so it can go to the scene view. Pretty easy. Now, if I go to my 3D view, I can see here a little bit of coast erosion. If I click here, I can start setting up some of the parameters. And you can see here in the little window what I'm changing. Let's change a little bit like that. And I'm going to start and work on the advanced plugin. I'm going to double click on it and you can start and shape it up a little bit from all those settings. You have a lot of settings, middle elevation. As you can see, we can change a little bit of the elevation octaves. You can set up the steepness and let me go back to my graphs here everything is set up i've set up my coast erosion and right now let's click on build just to see how it looks it's going to build pretty quick all right it looks good so now we are ready with our island and we need to export the tiled component into unreal engine 5. so how can we do that go to the nodes to the device view Click on the height output, double click on it, and go to the set. I have already set up my uh, folder, so choose a folder, place a name, save, and you need to select row 16, like format. Click OK, then go to this, to the tile build, click, click yes, and it starts building the tiles. As you can see here, there are a lot of tiles, and it can take up few seconds to a couple of minutes it depends on your machine so this is pretty easy and quick way to create terrain uh, by your dimensions for example if you want eight kilometers if you want 16 if you want 56 if you want 100 you can create any kind of size of terrain and you can shape it with all the filters from the device view all right once the building of the tiles is done, you can click OK and we can go to Unreal Engine. Right now, let me create a new level and I'm going to select time of the day. I select don't save here. And how I can import, let me just tune back the camera speed, how I can import my terrain. It's pretty, pretty damn easy. Go to active landscape and here you, you have import from file. Just click on it. Go to the height map files and select your folder. Right now we have a lot of archives and you need to select the first one from the sequence. All right, select it and click open. These green dimensions are showing where this terrain will go. And if you see a height map resolution which is big enough, it means that everything is okay. I just selected from here a material the outro landscape material from my previous video if you want to know more about this material check my previous video on the landscapes and we're ready it's pretty important to click on flip on y-axis because from world machine to, to unreal engine the y-axis is flipped so you need to click here in order to flip it and correct it then click on import wait a little bit it's going to import the terrain all right so we have our terrain imported into unreal engine 5 we have our landscape proxies over here 
and let me show you how to create the work partition for it the first thing that we need to do is we need to save our scene go to scenes and click save current level i'm going to name it terrain 32 by 32 kilometers i'm going to click on save I'm gonna wait a little bit in order my scene to be saved. All right, the first thing that you need to check is you're gonna need to go to the project settings and here write world partition. And here is a checkbox, enable world partition. You need to click it in order to enable it and reset Unreal Engine 5. I've already done it, I've already click on the enable world partition and just re reload the engine all right this is the first step and the second step is go to your world settings again from here click on world settings and here you can go to the tab world partition setup it's enabled and here you can see world partitions all right there is a little bug right now we cannot select the bugging method so what you need to do is you need to go file new level create new time of the day and then save this scene let's say it train test save it and then go back to my original scene and as you can see here you have runtime mesh which now is enabled. This is a little bug in Unreal Engine 5 that you can fix by jumping into another scene, save it and go back to this scene in order to preview the grids of the world partition. And now you can just click on it. And there is something, if you notice, there is no terrain over here. You need to load it up. So how to load it up? Go to Window, World Partition, select all the boxes right click on them all selected cells or you can select few cells you can select those cells but i'm going to load up the whole world once it's loaded up you can see here and let me explain a little bit about the preview grids so what you what you see here is in this area where the grid is it's going to start showing the geometry but if i go to my grids open here we have cell size and loading range. If I shrink down this, my range for the partitions and for the objects to pop out will be smaller. And here you can make your cell size a little bit smaller. So a lot of uh, small details can be separated. Let's, let's set it up to 2000 and 10K maybe, something like this, maybe. 20k and let's place few objects in order to show you how it works let's go to the shapes and let's place a cube i'm gonna zoom in on this cube all right the next thing we need to open is this window and i'm gonna dock it over here in order to show you as you can see, this arrow shows where the player is, where our current camera is. All right. If I click on play, it also shows me where my player is. All right. So let me show you a quick command that you can put in your command tab in order to see uh, the book window of the range of your uh, cell size and all the range. So this is the command that you need to put in the in the comment line i'm going to include it into the description of this video so i'm going to put it here and i'm going to change it to 2d i'm going to click enter and once i click play you can see a uh, book window with the range of the things that will uh, load up so let me show you here i see one of these cube when i go over there the other cube pop out now it goes back to the dead so here is how you can set up your uh, world partitions and you can set up all the little details over here to pop in and pop out let me all right guys so this is pretty much what i came up with very huge terrain i've put some water 
I've added the shader and as you can see the terrain is very very huge so this is how you can create a huge world by using world machine it doesn't matter if you want to create a 50 kilometers terrain or just 8 kilometers or just 2 it doesn't matter and yes you can create worlds big enough with world machine and populate them with your assets and if you want me to create more videos about 3D game development on Real Engine, hit the like button and check out my courses in the description of this video. And if you like something, you can buy or just subscribe to my channel and support it. Thank you guys. Bye.